All right, guys, I'm gonna teach you guys today one of my signature moves. Man, I have done this, uh, this technique countless times on my BGJF, on ADCC actually rewarded me with best takedown of ADCC a couple of times with this move, you know, a world pro. Um, it's a move that I love doing it, you know, and uh, very plastic, you know what I mean? Like one of those moves that when you hit people, wow, everybody stands up, you know what I mean? And brings a lot of excitement to the matches, okay? The move is called cyplex or suplex that people do it. You know, I just put the cyplex because I my own details to it, okay? So the main thing uh, is that usually I do it off of the double or the single leg and I ended up running to the back. You guys know that whenever you shoot a single leg, for instance, you always have to have this, the, a mirror image, okay? Same, leg, same legs in the front, okay? Usually what I like to do is I post, okay, I control the collar, Okay, now I'm gonna shoot on the outside, I'm gonna cut the corner. So as I shoot the leg, you see that my head is glued to the tie, to the hip, okay? My hand's right behind the tie, okay? I'm controlling, controlling the leg, okay? As soon as I'm here now, I'm gonna approach my foot, I'm gonna pop up with the leg. As soon as I'm here, guys, the tail is, my hand, my front hand that was holding my bottom hand is gonna come across the front and my hand's gonna come across the hip. Okay, and then from here still, I can still can run a double leg here. From here, I can pull towards the back and get a takedown. But as you get on this position, usually the guy wants to run away from you and kick his leg out. When he tries to kick his leg out, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna push my shoulder forward and switch to the back. Okay, so one more time. Okay, I'll go boom, control, pop up, one. Two, West, once the guy tried to escape, I'll push him forward. Look, the hand that was in the front, come in front of the belly, and I control the hips. Very important whenever you get on this position here on the back, that you never stay with your hands in the, in the middle, okay? Usually, because if you stay in the middle, the guy gonna be able to break your grip and get out. What I do is, my hand comes across the hip, and the hand's gonna be facing up, and I have a lock. Really important that on the outside, look how my, my hips, uh, my elbow, it's locked here, okay? My feet is parallel with him. My head is pushing the middle of his back, pushing him forward, okay? And I have a good position, a safe position. You see that my hips is never close to his hips. I don't do it here. My hips are away, okay? And I'm, I'm on this position here. Now you guys know that if I'm trying to lift someone off the ground, if I try to just power it off and lift with my lower back, I'm gonna spend a lot of energy, especially um, on high weight division, you know? Like, I fight these really big guys, the guys are men. I don't know, like, I we fought Honorio, Honorio on ACC this year, man. The guy is like a tank, you know? Like, it's easily 260, you know what I mean? If I try to, to, to lift guys like that with my lower back, I would end up being injured, you know? So it's really important that whenever you're gonna do a position like a deadlift like this, you gotta go out, of, you gotta pull out of your thighs, not of your lower back. So whenever I'm here, what I'm gonna do is, I'll approach my leg and I'm gonna do like kind of, kind of a squat, okay? When I squat now, I'm gonna lift him up, I'm gonna look up and lift him up, look up, with my hips, okay? Whenever I get him on the air, the hand that's in the front of the hips, okay? It's gonna come on the air, I'm gonna switch, and I'm gonna grab the cross collar, okay? So I'm gonna lift him up from here, he comes to here, and then I'm gonna slam him on the ground, okay? So I'm gonna go from here, I'm gonna go whoo, and you see how it's even easier for me to carry him to the ground, I didn't really need to slam him, okay? And look how my hands are across the collar. If from here, look how my elbow is framing the chest, so I'm controlling the whole side of his body. If he tries to run away from me, he's locked. You understand that? From here, I have like a huge um, amount of, 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 of moves that I can pull it out. From here, I can go and put an Ezekiel. From here, I can try to wait for him to turn back and mount. He comes back and have a gatagatami. You know, and I can advance my position to mount position if, if is the case. So there's uh, many positions that we can advance to from that from that move itself. But, one more time. Okay, boom, single, come up, switch. Push, control. Okay, getting here, pushing forward, 
and go back where it is real quick. Always, guys, I push him forward first. You can even use some machine here, you no know, make him off balance, okay? Now, as I approach, I approach to take him already. So I go off. Control. Hand across the collar, controlling. Now, usually, I kind of wait for his, for his reaction. You know, if he tries to run away, I keep it. You know, if he tries to come back, I slide. You know what I mean? You can go to Ezekiel. Or, I even saw, like, I love this move and I have been doing this for so long. But one thing that I saw um, on UFC happening one of these days is uh, Money Mouse, the, 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 the featherweight. Mm -hmm. You know, like, he came from here, from here, he came straight to armbar off of the, off of the takedown. So let's do it one more time. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Come in, control, push back, control here. On. Going straight to an arm bar right off of it. So, again, I always tell my students that whenever you learn a position, for you to open your mind and use the, actually the setup that you've learned to generate and create every other thing that your eyes can see. Whenever you don't know a position, you're kind of blind to certain ways of moving. Whenever you learn something new, I always advise my students never to stop at what the professor taught, but to actually look around and see all the possibilities that that position can bring to you. You know what I mean? So whenever you guys learn something from me, make sure that you're like, man, professor, can I do this? Can I do that position? Can I go to an armbar? Can I go to a leg lock? I don't know. Have you tried it? So if you try it and you pull it off, man, it's amazing, you know what I mean? So everything that your mind can see, that your eyes can see, you can actually perform. Have fun, and if you guys actually get to hit this position on a competition, don't hesitate to send me the videos, man. I would love to see it. Us.